this time on Pachari Adventures. Rocio and I hit the road to Arkansas for our first adventure of 2019. We make a brief stop at Hot Springs National Park before heading out into the Washita National Forest to try and muddy up the GX and see how she performs off-road. <laughs> All right, so we just rolled into uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas, and uh, we came up here to Hot Springs National Park, uh, and the idea was that we were going to kind of see what the National Park had to offer and then head out into the National Forest uh, for some off-roading and uh, one night of camping before we head back to Dallas. But uh, So, yeah, Hot Springs... Uh, looks pretty cool like all the old bathhouses hot in the actual hot springs um that's really cool architecture and stuff like that but uh we just it's really cold so we didn't want to leave espresso in the car and he was getting real nervous when we were getting out of the car so uh we just kind of took a quick look around um the visitor center and then uh hit up the gift shop and picked up our uh, national park magnet and Rocio bought the, <laughs> the National Park Passport, and we got our stamp for Hot Springs. So yeah, we're good to go. We're gonna grab some lunch, and then head out into Washita National Forest, hit some forest roads, maybe some trails, see how the GX does, and uh, then go find camp. So let's get on the road. think pretty nice huh pretty nice but it's cold it is cold blue hole Washita National Forest Arkansas so this is actually private property um but I guess the owner lets people come out here and they've, 
He's apparently worked some sort of deal with Arkansas Fish and Wildlife or whatever. Uh, on the sign coming in, it says they patrol the area. Uh, and it's $10 to tent camp. I think it said 15 for RVs. We saw a few RVs in here when we pulled in. So we were considering maybe camping here, but uh, we don't have any cash on us. So we'll probably try to find some Forest Service, uh, you know, camp in the just in the national forest around here somewhere. So need to get that figured out. But pretty cool colors. What is this? No. Road's blocked. It's a pretty big problem because it's a massive detour that we're gonna have to figure out. Find a new way. Fly. Huh? To fly. <laughs> so we're trying to get across that little section there. Zoom in more on it. And there's a road showing there, which is what we're seeing out there. But mm. uh, maybe we can back. Yeah, we're gonna have to go down and around. So this is our first major route blockage on this trip. Um, bummer. We had. When we were in Hot Springs, we tried to go to the Forest Service office, but they were closed. So I couldn't pick up like the up-to-date uh, MVUM map and ask questions about you know our route and um, you know any closures or anything like that. I did have the the downloaded version, the PDF version, but I'm still finding that. It's really kind of hard to read without explanation, and like it tell it shows you road closures, but it just gives you a number, and then you have to like search the entire map to find the number. And it's if you don't know exactly what you're looking at, it can be kind of difficult. Um, and then the Gaia GPS. MV, MVUM um, let's see yeah it <clears throat> looks like it's showing that that is a road um, and there's no details like on closure or anything like that so um, bummer on that deal so now we're gonna have a pretty hefty detour and the detour sort of looks the same so we might <laughs> we might end up running into another dead end we'll see okay, so we made it down to the other road where it looked like it might have ended and um, looks like what happened is it just uh, we got where we thought it ended it was just where they stopped maintaining the road so we were able to continue there was no gate um, but we're definitely on an unmaintained section now and ooh. But it looks like it might cross through private property. So 
We'll see what happens. We're definitely back up in here. So I don't know if I want to be coming across anybody's private property. Well, we were three quarters of the way across this block of private property. It, it's a forest road running through it, and there was no trespass. There was there wasn't any signs that said no trespassing or anything, like right by the like where the property line supposedly started. But we got three quarters of the way across and then came across some logging equipment. And then further in the distance, we could see like a little house or a cabin or something. And we stopped to check a water crossing, it looked pretty deep, mud puddle. <laughs> and right when we stopped, there was a no trespassing sign off to the side. So I kind of thought maybe it had to do with like just being off the, the road, like don't trespass off the road. But because there was like this house and cabin like right up ahead and we're out in the middle of nowhere, we decided not to risk it. Turned around, heading back the way we came. So, now what? <laughs> Oh, then we gotta get back across this mud pit. <coughs> Here we go. So this means an even bigger detour. Which also potentially means we're not gonna make it to where we think we can camp. Nerve-wracking. <sighs> okay, back out. We have an hour, less than an hour until sunset. All right, well, here we are at camp. Just some random fire road. Uh, kind of keeps going. There's a gate and it gets pretty tight down there. So we're just gonna, just gonna camp here. This little turnaround. So, more ground tent, we'll set that up there. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I mean, we're just crashing basically and then back on the road uh, pretty early tomorrow. So, we'll get this set up, get a little bit of food going and settle in. Well, As you can tell, got dark on us quick. Got camp set up and just having some dinner. Since we're only doing one night, we just uh, doing the 
backpacker's pantry, uh, fettuccine alfredo. Nice, quick, and easy. Um, luckily, I had my backpacking stove with me and the gas for that with me because I forgot the connector for the Everest camp stove. So, not sure where that is, but it's like 7.15, pitch black out here. I haven't uh, heard any animals yet, so gonna finish up this food and head into the tent. It's really cold, so we're eating in the in the car. Right. What do you think? Good.